Hi guys and welcome at this video lesson for uh, I Think I Like You from the Black Box Revelation. It's a really nice song, it's really groovy, uh, it's really fun to play and I don't think the band or the song doesn't need any more introduction because you're here at this song, ready to learn this song. So let's get started. So before we start, um, I should uh, note that um, it's really important to keep the right rhythm and to just keep moving. Your hand shouldn't stop for the entire song. Your hand keeps going at the same rhythm and you can play every part um, while just moving this hand. So. And you keep going and then bridge. And then chorus. then just a verse so my hand didn't stop moving it was always the same speed and it's just a matter of playing right notes and uh, hitting the strings at the right times but this is something um, good to remember and it uh, will make the song easier to play alright so first I'll play the entire part and then I'll break it down to pieces and I'll uh, teach you uh, all small pieces and then you can put them together. So let's go. So I just played the same piece uh, twice and it's actually the same piece in the entire song um, that you'll be playing. Uh, so let's start with the beginning. We started with a band and um, actually two bands. So you put your index on the fifth fret on the second string from the bottom, uh, on this string, and your ring finger on the seventh fret uh, on the third string from the bottom. And so you'll bend your um, ring finger up so it sounds like this. So it's got, a, it's got a resonating sound. And what you'll do is you'll bend up, let go of the bend, and then play from the bottom up, 0, 5. And then you'll bend again and release the bend without releasing your fingers. So, so you get this. This is actually the 5th fret on the 3rd string, so when you put all these parts together, it's this. Alright, so next you'll put your uh, ring finger on the 7th fret on the 4th string from the bottom. And then you play the 4th the, uh, and 5th string open. So right now we have this. Right, that's the first part, and it's actually the hardest part. You're almost halfway. Uh, the next part sounds like this. Right, so it's the index finger. You put it on the uh, A string, the second string from the top, on the fifth fret, and you play the A and the D at the same time. So you bar them with your finger on the fifth fret. So it sounds like that, you only play two, those two strings and then you play 5, 7 and you can play it with your ring finger or your pinky, whatever suits you best. So 5, 7, 5 and then you move your index one string down so you play the D and the G string. So 5, 7, 5, 5, alright? So from the start. Okay, and then you play actually the same uh, figure. So five still on the D and the G. Five seven five, and then seven on the D string. Five on the D string. Five on the G string. So we get this. That's what we got right now, alright? And then it's just again um, 
7 on the D, the open D and A as transition notes, and then 5, 7, 5, 7 like 4 or 5 times. So that's it, it's uh, the entire piece. So slow again, it goes like this. And that's it. Uh, you know the first part, you know the intro and the verse, and actually the hardest part and the uh, biggest part of the song. Uh, so let's uh, get down to the bridge and the chorus part. So the bridge and the chorus uh, consist of the three uh, same chords, power chords. I assume you know uh, power chords, otherwise you we'll probably don't have the right level to play this song. Uh, but anyway, we start at the power chord, uh, top string 5 and then 7-7, seven, seven. we only plays, uh, play these three, so it goes, and then you go to 3-5-5, five, five. and 3-5-5 five, five, with one string down, so you play four times each power chord, and you play, so 5-3, Three, five, and that's one cycle. Uh, so the bridge goes. So and then the chorus starts, and it's the same um, power chords, but in the other direction. So we go five, seven, seven. So you play down, down, up, up, down, up, down, so and then you go to the 3 5 5 on the um, A and D and G, and then you get to um, the other power chord on the top strings, and you play, so you release your fingers uh, to stop the ringing of the uh, notes, otherwise you get and it's just not the same effect, you go and then again and again and the verse starts again so that's a bridge, that's a chorus and then you just play the chorus, uh, the first part again and that's the entire song. Now, uh, at the end of the song, there is a more um, instrumental part, and so you play the verse, the intro verse, uh, bridge chorus, and then verse bridge chorus. And after this chorus, there is like a part with um, some instrumental sounds, just drums. And after a while, he starts playing some muted, some palm muted uh, chords. Um, and it's almost the same power chord, so it's again 7-5-5 five, five on the top strings. And then the 0-2-2 two, two, uh, on the top. And then the 3-5-5 five, five on the 2nd, 3rd, 4th string. And then just um, the 5-7-7. Five, seven, seven. So you play the palm muted, uh, you put your palm on the bridge of your guitar so it doesn't mute everything, but it doesn't make it ring, so it's, and you just play, you play, go, uh, you go, keep playing, um, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then it starts singing, and then after a while, it start it stops with a open a power chord, and then the uh, chorus starts again. So that was the entire song. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I could, uh, I was able to uh, teach you this song. It's uh, not too hard. It shouldn't take too much time. But it is a lot of fun to play. It's really cool if you play along with the song. If you put it on your uh, your stereo or put it in your amp and just play along it's really awesome 
Um, well, I would say enjoy and maybe see you later. Bye.